Hi, I'm John Fajeris, and today it's freezing out. I think it's about 10 degrees out this morning, uh, and it's it's winter time. There's snow on the ground and on the roofs. And typically, I don't do roof inspections when there's snow on the roof. I'll do a spot check, but I won't get on the roof. But today we have a walkable roof, as you can see. Um, this is a 18-year-old house. It already had roof issues. Uh, the sellers have put on a new roof, uh, so it's only about a year old. And I'm going to show you how sometimes you could have improper roof applications from a brand new roof uh, installed on an existing dwellings. Uh, the question is, is who's checking the roofer? So I'm up on top of the roof here, and I'm going to show you uh, some gaps and some open joints that weren't properly done. Uh, as of 2015, code requirement uh, has changed to the wall junction areas that require a rain diverter. And that's where the shingles come together uh, at the wall junction. So I'm going to show you one right here that has lifted flashing. Uh, and at the tail end right here, you can see the actual flashing is lifted up. It's not anchored down very well. But the rain diverter should have been installed right here, which is pretty much a kick out that takes the water and puts it into the gutter rather than finding its way into behind the siding. And the downfall about this is this house was built prior to the 2003 and 4. So 2002 wasn't required to put house wrap or building wrap behind the siding. And this house does not have it. It's a cracked piece of siding right here. Then over around the corner here, at this wall junction, you'll notice that there isn't even felt material or ice and water shield. So you have exposed... Uh, plywood roof sheathing in those areas there. So these are detailed areas that the consumers are not even aware of when having a new roof put on. I would make contact with the roofing company and have these wall junctions resealed. There's another example right here. So if you're having a new roof put on, check the roofer when they're done. Have another third party come in and get on the roof and physically look at it.